morning ladies and gents, Bradford Magnet Man out for a little dip somewhere new come to meet somebody you'll find out who in a minute see you soon folks right ladies and gents I've forgotten my uh, spare battery not here the one in my GoPro is dead that said it had 75% battery in it I don't know why someone's gone with it wrong somewhere but I'm here anyway and uh, Chaps, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, mate? It's uh, Nigel, no offence, magnet fishing. How you doing? I'll shake your hand, you've got your glove on. <laughs> Alright, it's a bit, a bit... A bit busy, isn't it, mate? It is, yeah. <laughs> um, I've got here. You have? And I've checked my battery on my GoPro that had 75% before I set off. And now it's got nothing on it and I don't know if I've got my spare in the car so I'm going to do a bit on my phone and a, a bit of uh, clips here and there anyway yeah. Um, but yeah it's a nice little spot is this isn't it? yeah, a few bits and bobs coming up now so alright we're having a ooh ooh vicar look at that ooh best get in quick then Anna Guys, I've got a trolley gator. Never. <laughs> yeah, and you know I've forgotten my battery, so I'm on my phone, so I'm keeping them short and sweet, guys. Um, or my battery will go, because I didn't charge that either. <laughs> so I've got a, a nice fence piece. A Magnum D-lock. One of them, whatever it is. And a few little bits. A pair of scissors, spoons, and whatever. I'll get back to you in a bit, folks. Happy clicking out there if you're out today, folks. Don't forget like, share, subscribe, coffee. Past. That's an under and over shotgun found by your very own Bradford Magnet Man. Bang bang! I'd like to have a quick shout out anyway, well, about it, to uh, Bob on the Pacific Northwest, if I've got it right, Bob. I'll give you a big shout out, mate. Great comments, great information, you keep giving up the channel. Love it. See you later, mate. Again, we have a nine mil. But there we go, so we get that phone in in a minute. Brilliant, nice find once more. Mystery bad guys, it looks like a Nokia. And it is a Nokia, a little basher. 33 10 byte, look at that, guys. Okay. There we go. Another one. Dan's just found another one. Put it there, mate. There you go. Dan, you've just pulled it there. Second one. Cool. Great clicking. We have another one. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, sorry. Nigel, sorry, he's having fun with the local constabulary. Uh, lots of people everywhere. <laughs> I'll just let a few past. Uh, 
See you next time, mate. Uh, my head's gone, mate. Anxiety's doing me in. So I'll catch you all later, guys, yeah? Yeah, look after yourself and you. Yeah, have a good one and find some more, guys. Plenty more. Right, um... Right, guys, result of some of today's work. Trolley, motorbike. Wheel clamps, loads of scrap. Uh, a road cannon. Quite a bit. Well, folks, like I said, um, it really is too busy around here, so I am going. <laughs> Now then, ladies and gents, um, I went to London the other day. I met Nigel from North Ants Magnet Fishing. I met Dan. Um, I also met Dan's mum and a few other people. I also met Nathan, um, which is Nigel's son. Great meeting them out there. Um, despite me not being able to cope, um, I am building on it and I will get better in, in everything I do. Um, Lovely mugs, them is. <laughs> so anyway guys, let's get on with what I found while we're down in London. Um, we might as well get on with best first, eh? There we go, under and over, shotgun barrel. Um, as you can see, there's quite a lot of it left still. No. No need at all to hand it into police. There's the business end. You won't want to look at that. Nah, not even like that, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> but yeah, folks, um, nice shotgun battle that I pulled out. Absolutely cracking. So, got off to a good start down there. Um, we seem to come across a few of these while we were down there. We all know what these are, these are bicycle locks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bicycle locks in the couple of hours I actually spent magnet fishing. Along with quite a lot of other stuff that we pulled out as well, which actually got left with the scrap man. Um, we got quite a bit. A nice um, tape measure, I haven't even tried it. Shall I try it? I'll come out of it, on it, guys. No, ah, oh, we'll give it, give it a try another day. Yeah. Uh, we have got a lovely hammer. Don't know if that's some kind of rail spike. It looks like I don't know, like the fashion that end of it, and that end used to be an Allen key. But two. Really old. Petrol caps. A part of a park bench. I remember these when I was a kid. I really do. We got one, two, three fishing reels. These were all attached to the motorbike that we pulled out. Uh, great effort lads, we had it out in a jiffy, even down in London we had it out. Right, now, I thought that was a safe, it has a locked box top, there's a little tab there, it has the number in it, it's actually a safety deposit box guys. The handle folds right down, or it did do, and they get slid into place into the safety deposit box itself. Okay, we've got a few bits over here. We've got a pair of scissors, a spark plug, a couple of spoons, a bit of cash, a key ring. Pulled that out, guys. There was no handle on it. But that's definitely a, I don't know, 
Rambo type blade, really nasty. Again, I won't want that anywhere near me. That'll be snapped and wrapped and it will go in the bin. Um, I don't need some kid got bored on um, Fortnite or actually got upset tweaking his buttons and that lot and uh, wang this out the window. Maybe it went in canal. That's how it ended up there. Nice good one. I've got a lighter, two bicycle lights, Nokia 3310 for hooks. I've had a look in back, there is no SIM card in it, but it was definitely someone's bash of that, wasn't it? Cracking little phone there, well back in there. A pair of um, scales again for weighing um, little things. There's even two batteries in it, so I'll save the duckies again. Then finally, coming on to a lovely little safe key that I found. I'm going to try and clean that up so I can keep the key uh, levers in place or teeth. I found another key. And also two kind of necklaces. These were attached to the motorbike as well. little pom-poms on. So there we go folks. Despite coming home a bit early due to my illness, um, I did manage to have a great time with Nigel, Dan and other people that were there for the day. It was cracking folks. Um, I'd love to meet up again someday and I will build on what I've already done. It's a massive achievement for me. There's only onwards and upwards that we can go, folks. So share, subscribe, like my videos and we'll see you all soon, folks. Happy clicking out there.